Hello guys, welcome to Interchange 3, Unit 14, Creative Careers. In this unit, we are going to see the passive to describe process. Also, we are going to see some creative jobs and the defining and non-defining relative classes. Let's begin. Now we are going to see some milestones in contemporary cinematography or some important moments for the movie industry. Pink Floyd, The Wall, 1982. The first movie-length music video. Terminator 2, 1991. The first movie to use advanced computer technology. Batman Returns, 1992. The first movie with Dolby Digital Sound. Toy Story, 1995. The first computer animated feature film. Twister, 1996. The first movie to be released on DVD. Titanic, 1998. The first movie to gross over $1 billion. Star Wars Episode II, Attack of the Clones, 2002. The first major movie to shot entirely in digital video. The Polar Express, 2004. The first computer animated motion capture film. EMR, 2005. The first movie to be released simultaneously in theaters, on DVD, and on the internet. The Heart Locker, 2008. The first film directed by a woman to win the Oscar for Best Motion Picture. Avatar. 2009, the first 3D movie to gross over $2 billion worldwide. Harry Potter and the Deadly Hallows, Part 2, 2011, the first movie to make over $92 million in one day. Olive, 2011, the first full-length feature film shot on a phone. The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey, 2012. The first major movie filmed at 48 frames per second instead of the standard 24 FPS. This is a conversation between two people talking about the process to direct an animated movie. Let's listen to them. Unit 14, Creative Careers. Page 92, Exercise 2. Conversation. I have more control. Part A. Listen and practice. Thanks for coming to the film festival. Directing this film was amazing, and I'm happy to answer your questions about it. Yes, hi. What is it like to direct an animated movie? Is it different from live action? Well, for one thing, I have a lot more control. There are no actors to argue with me. <laughs> I guess not. But how do you direct cartoon characters? Well, after a screenplay is chosen, many drawings of the characters are presented to me. And you get to choose which ones to use? Even better, I can change them if I want. The characters have to be drawn just right, like I see them in my mind. So you decide a lot about the characters early on? Definitely. By the time the voice actors are picked, the characters feel like old friends. The passive to describe process. You can use a passive voice to describe a process. In this case, we are talking about the process of making a movie, because we are talking about the movie industry. For this, for making a movie, you need actors to play the roles. You need to record scenes many times, and also you need to edit the videos. For this, we are using the passive voice to describe or say how something is done. For example, number one. The actors have to be chosen for each role. One scene may be recorded many times. The movie is edited by a professional editor. For the passive voice, you need the verb to be plus a past participle. This is the formula that you need to follow. You need an object. Remember that the object is who or what is receiving the action. 
An object in grammar can be a person, an animal, or a thing. Who is receiving the action is the object. Then you have the verb to be, is or are in the present, the past participle, and a complement. For example, number one, the best scenes are used in the final movie. In this case, what is being used? The best scenes. For the second one, the locations are selected and used to shoot the movie. In this case, the locations are not doing anything. Somebody else is selecting the locations and somebody else is using the locations to shoot the movie. Number three, the movie is directed by one or more directors. In this case, the movie is not doing anything. The movie is receiving an action because the directors are directing the movie. So as you can see, the object is the person, the thing, or the animal that is receiving the action. In this case, the best scenes are used. In here, the locations are selected and used as well. And in the third one, the movie is directed. So you need an object, the verb to be, is or are, the past participle, and a complement. Another way to do this is using a modal verb, the verb to be in the be form, and a past participle. For this, you need an object, a modal verb, be, not is or are, just be, a past participle, and a complement. For example, actors must be given a script for them to learn their lines. Actors can be replaced if they are problematic or irresponsible. A movie may be shot in different countries. Special effects have to be added to make the movie more realistic. The final film needs to be checked by the director. In this case, if you see we are using model verbs. Must when something is mandatory. Can when it's a possibility. May when it's also possible or probable. Have to, it's a, an obligation and needs to, it's a necessity. Remember that after models, we use the verb in the base form. That's why we use be in the be form and not is or are. Then the past participle of the verb and the complement. So in this case, the actors are not doing anything, the movie is not doing anything, the special effects are not doing anything, and the final film is not doing anything. They are receiving actions because somebody else is going to give the actors the script. Somebody else is going to replace the actors. One person or multiple people are going to shoot the movie. Somebody else is going to add the special effects. And somebody else is going to check the final film. So the object is not doing the action. Remember, who is doing the action is the subject. And here, the subject is the director, because the director is going to check the movie. In this case, the subject can be probably the movie editor, because it's the one that is going to add the special effects. Here, we have the cameramen that are the ones that are going to record the movie with cameras. Here, probably the casting director or the director can replace an actor. And here, also, the director could give the actors the script. Media professions. Film jobs. Film composer. A film composer creates a musical score that accompanies a film. Movie extra. A movie extra is an actor that appears in the background scenes. Stunt person. A person who does the dangerous scenes in a movie. Storyboard artist. Storyboard artists create a visual representation of the animation's narrative. TV jobs. Newscaster. A person who presents news during a news program on the television on the radio, etc. Sitcom writer. 
Sipcon writers are skilled writers who prepare scripts for situation comedies. Talk show host. A talk show host presents the show's content and often does guest interviews. Publishing jobs. Editorial director. The person in charge of editorial content for an advertising or media publication. Photo editor. A professional who collects, reviews, and chooses photographs and or photo illustration for publication. Page designer. This person will visually, graphically, design each page of a publication, such as newspapers or magazines, using various types of design software. News photographer. A photographer who works for a newspaper, magazine, etc. Web content manager. Content managers are responsible for a website's content. Gaming jobs. Game animator. Game animators create interactive animated images and environments for video games. Gameplay programmer. Gameplay programmers write a code for the instructions that make a game fun to play. Quality Assurance Analyst Quality Assurance Analysts test programs, games, and any software to make sure they are reliable, fully functional, and user-friendly before they are released to the public. Music Jobs Club DJ At this jockey, abbreviated as DJ, it's a person who plays recorded music for an audience. Songwriter. A musician who composes musical compositions and writes lyrics for songs. Band manager. A band manager works closely with a music group to help make major decisions regarding the creative and business direction of the band. Computer jobs. Computer programmer. A person who writes computer programs. Network installer. A person who installs and maintains computer communication networks at a company. Software designer. A person who designs the algorithm and the visual layout of a software. Defining and non-defining relative classes. We use defining relative classes to give essential information about someone or something, information that we need in order to understand what or who is being referred to. We use non-defining relative classes to give extra information about the person or thing. It is unnecessary information. We don't need it to understand who or what is being referred to. For example, here we have two sentences, one with a defining relative clause and another one with a non-defining relative clause. The first one says, James Cameron is a person who directed the famous movies Avatar and Titanic. The second one says, Drake, who appeared on the TV show The Grassy, has become a very successful rapper. In the first one, if we leave only, James Cameron is the person, and we delete the relative class who directed the famous movies Avatar and Titanic, the sentence is not complete. We cannot just simply say James Cameron is the person, because this idea is not complete. It needs the other part. But in the second one, if we delete who appear on the TV show The Grassy, it still understandable. We can understand the sentence and it's fully complete. For example, Drake, who appear on the TV show The Grassy, has become a very successful rapper. If we delete the red part, we're gonna say, 
Drake has become a very successful rapper. The sentence, it's still complete. The idea, it's complete without the red part. So this is a non-defining relative clause because this part is not necessary for the sentence to be complete or to make sense. Defining relative clauses. We use defining relative clauses to give essential information about someone or something. For this, you need a subject, the verb to be, is or are, but you can also use the past, was or where, then a description of the subject, plus who or that, plus the verb, plus a complement. Remember that who is used for people as well as that, but for things, you can use that or wish. For example, the extras are the people who appear in the background scenes, or the extras are the people that appear in the background scenes. Zoe Saldana is the actress who played a titty in the movie Avatar, or Zoe Saldana is the actor that played a titty in the movie Avatar. And the last one, Maria Montes was the first Dominican woman who became famous in Hollywood, or Maria Montes was the first Dominican woman that became famous in Hollywood. If you delete the part with the relative clause, for example, who appear in the background scene, the sentence is not going to be complete or the idea is not going to be complete. For example, the extras are the people. So Saldana is the actress. Maria Montes was the first Dominican woman. These two ideas are not complete. They need the defining relative clause here. You can use also defining relative clauses for definitions. Non-defining relative clauses. We use non-defining relative clauses to give extra information about the person or thing. For this, you need a subject plus who or that. In this case, we are talking about people, so we prefer to use who. Then, the verb plus a complement, a comma, and the verb and a complement. Again, here we have two verbs and we have a comma. You can use one comma or two commas, depending on the idea or the sentence. Now here we have the first one, Rosalia, who participated in the Spanish talent show to Siquevales, has won 10 Latin Grammy Awards. Number two, Pharrell Williams, who is a famous American rapper, writes and produces songs for other singers and rappers. And number three, Chadwick Boseman, who became well known for his role in the movie Black Panther, died in 2020 due to cancer. In this case, if we eliminate or if we delete the relative clause, the one that is here between the commas, the sentence is going to be complete or the idea it's going to be complete. So this is like extra information that if we delete it, the sentence is going to continue making sense. It's going to be complete. This is just like extra information, what is between the commas. We can say, Rosalia, who participated in the Spanish talent show to Siquevales, has won 10 Latin Grammy Awards. But we can also say, Rosalia has won 10 Latin Grammy Awards, and the idea, it's perfect or complete. For the second one, we can say, Pharrell Williams, who is a famous American rapper, writes and produces songs for other singers and rappers. But we can also say, Pharrell Williams produces and writes songs for other singers and rappers, and the idea is perfect. The last one, Chadwick Boseman, who became well known for his role in the movie Black Panther, died in 2020 due to cancer. But we can also say, Chadwick Boseman died in 2020 due to cancer. So we use non-defined relative clauses to give extra information about a person or a thing. Well, guys, that was everything for today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.